It's just, we just request that you get that little sticker from our desk. And where is this? Uh, once you... I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm absolutely going to do that, but I'll go look into it and figure out what the it's, situation is. All you do is say, hi, we're taking pictures, and they give you... Right, right, no, I'll go explore what it is and look into it, if you can just direct me in the right direction, for sure. Uh, so if you go in those glass scanners right there... Okay. Um, you walk straight, there's a desk in the middle of the room, and it's right there. Okay. Um, I am security, so if you don't do so, I can't actually allow you to photograph or film in here. That's interesting. Okay, so just for argument's sake, what if I go over there and look at that and say I'm not interested in doing that, then what, what, what would your next move be? How's it going guys? I'm again to press. Coming to you today from the City Library in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, this is a beautiful building, amazing architecture, and uh, we're going to take a walk around, take a look at the facility, and uh, find out if these folks honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public, and in publicly accessible areas of public buildings. Beautiful building. I know I said that already and I'll probably say it again. So there are uh, some individual businesses here, I guess, in the library. Maybe we can find out some information about that. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. My name's Jason. Uh, this is my son, Ben. And this is actually the first time I've been in a library where they have businesses mm -hmm. set up like this. So are these businesses owned by the municipality or are they actually privately owned? They're privately. This is a uh, um, non-profit. Non-profit, okay, so is that a requirement uh, of having us? No, not necessarily because the the others, I think, are owned and, and make profits. Got you. But this is um, about 12 years. We've been here about 12 years. We're oh. a non-profit, local artist. It's a cooperative. That's government. very cool. We all, all the artists work here. Okay. And where does the, the profits go to help? The profits go to, to pay for rent. Okay. It was going, and then we have contracts with the library to do certain things with the community. Oh, gotcha. That's awesome. That's excellent work. Yeah. Good deal. Well, thank you for that. We appreciate yeah. that. I have a little uh, ode to my friend, uh, Mr. Pollock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I grew up in a small village in New York called Amagansett. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And uh, one town over is the Springs, mm -hmm. which is actually where the Pollock studio is. Mm -hmm. So we've been there and I've gone to the museum and okay. it's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, no, fascinating stuff. Okay. And I actually want to hear something interesting. I actually own a pair of Willem de Kooning's overalls. <laughs> Yeah, they were gifted to me by a very well-known artist that oh, was, yeah, right before she passed away, she wanted me to have them. Okay. So I have them. They're in a plastic bag. They smell god-awful when you take them out, <laughs> but they have the paint stains on them, and she also gave me a photograph of him that was in a magazine. I forget which magazine it was back then, and he's wearing this, and you can match up all the paint stains and everything. Good. Yeah, so people have told me to sell them. I'm, I'll never sell them. Good provenance. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I meant to ask you? Which of these are yours? My name's Mary. Okay. I have some watercolor and some acrylic. The acrylic up in the top corner. Okay. Um, the watercolor here. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is acrylic. Nice. Um, there's more. Um, actually, I'm a featured artist, so I've got a lot of stuff right here. This is mine. Pusey. How do you pronounce your last name? Pusey. Pusey. So this is some of Mary Pusey's artwork. All this is yours? Mm -hmm. Wow. You're uh I'm a featured artist. You're a so humble you're a humble artist. Mm -hmm. You're very talented. <laughs> so these are wow. all from Spain, London, um, Arches, Midway, Oregon, and Waikiki. Wow. This is fantastic stuff. You're you really you have a gift. Oh thank you. Yeah. 
Well, very cool. I'm glad we ran into you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Originally from New York, but we now live in the Denver area. Okay. I've thought of coming to Salt Lake City for many, many years. You know, you think about these things, you probably figure it'll never happen. But I never expected the architecture. Oh. And it's, I mean, we went up to the state capitol building, mind-blowing. I mean, that's just absolutely amazing. And you stand there, and it, the, I mean, it's so picture, picturesque. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like the mountains are fake. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. It's nice when the, with the, in the winter season. With the snow. That. Yeah, yeah you no, know, it is. It's spectacular. It so, yeah, no, we're really enjoying it. And thank you. We've made our trip a little nicer. Good. Thank you. Good. Have a wonderful day. All right, so these uh, are private businesses that I guess kick back to the library and pay some rent and serve a uh, perform a service to the community so they can get some food and drinks and buy some interesting artwork and things such as that. So there's a cafe here called the Salt Lake Roasting Company. Somebody put a lot of time and money into this place. It's beautiful. I'm sorry? Media passes. Media passes. It's for free. It's just if you go to our welcome desk, once you walk in the scanner that's right in front of you, just tell them what you're doing and they'll just give you a sticker that says you're allowed to be here. It's but for media though. Because I'm not media. To anybody who's taking pictures or recording in here actually has to get one. We have people doing private photo shoots in here. It's just because if you get a picture of someone who's here who did not consent, it's the building saying you have a right to do that in here because it's technically like half and half public and private property. Okay, yeah. so what? So you're saying that it's interesting. Um, you're saying that I would need somebody's consent in order to photograph them here. Not necessarily, but you do need the building's con to consent to photograph in here. The building's consent to photograph. That's interesting. It's Being that it's a public library, it's just interesting because we do. I go to a lot of public buildings. Yeah, no, you're yeah. more than welcome to. It's just we just request that you get a little sticker from our desk. And where is this? Uh, once you. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm absolutely going to do that, but I'll go look into it and figure out what the. It's situation is all you do is say hi we're taking pictures and they give you right right no i'll go explore what it is and look into it if you can just direct me in the right direction for sure uh so if you go in those glass scanners right there okay uh, you walk straight there's a desk in the middle of the room and it's right there okay um i am security so if you don't do so i can't actually allow you to photograph or film in here that's interesting okay so just for argument's sake what if i go over there and look at that and say i'm not interested in doing that then what what, what, what would your next move be uh, and then what if I just kept filming? Well, then I would probably have to ask you to leave, and I really don't want to do that. I'm trying really, really hard to be, like... Is there a no... Is this, like, a policy that's... Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you have a copy of the policy by any chance? I would love to show you, yeah. Great, okay. Excellent. Uh, and I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just trying to educate myself and figure out what's going on. That's literally the first time I've ever heard that in a library. And I've been in many of them. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. We get a lot of professional and amateur photographers in here if you just have something. Get a media pass for our sake and work. Okay. Okay, what he wants to cancel is um, the whole city house. He wants uh, black and blue. Or black, or, yeah. You can delete it. Oh, okay. I well, I I can't. I think I canceled it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have to do two things. You have to cancel it and then delete it. Otherwise, and then now it says cancel. So now I'm just gonna go through and del
Terminator, Terminator. And then this one's also canceled. I just go through. Yeah, I think I'm. Can I take a look at that? So that's the yes. rules of conduct here? Thanks. I have a question for you about the media passes. Yeah. Um, I don't see the policy written down. What is the. Uh, oh, um, so it is uh, just. Oh, okay. I guess there is a point. Uh, is it on here? I looked and I didn't see it. Uh, he did, was, did you look on here before? I did. I might have just skipped over it. It would be the first time I ever heard of anybody needing a media pass for a library. Yeah, yeah we just so. like it to have displayed, um, just so that our patrons don't feel like people are just arbitrarily taking pictures of them, that they've gone through a process. Um, it's just something that's... Sort of quell people's fears? Mostly, yeah. Basically, Sounds we just... Like it, yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's basically just you put I mean, that I'm sticker sure on you somewhere. I mean, I'm sure somebody's got other opinions about right. it, but that's what I... That's well, what I'll, I'll tell you what. I mean, if it's a policy uh, of... If it's a po an official in-writing policy of the library, it, I told you I'd be happy to take a look at it and entertain that, but if it's not, I, I don't really don't want to walk around with a sticker on me. So another that could is, cause its own problems. Another thing is, it also helps me as a security officer because if somebody who is mentally ill... Or I will in a moment. Um, someone who is, we have a lot of patrons here who are uh, experiencing homelessness, who have right. uh, schizophrenia, mental health issues, psychosis, and okay. stuff like that. Uh, it generally puts them at ease and it makes it so that we are less likely to get an altercation or have an incident on our records. Okay. If someone sees them, someone who looks like they might be filming them, they, they tend to get very... Well, that could, that could, that's interesting and it could also work in numerous ways. I mean, somebody might have a problem with the staff here, see me walking around with a sticker on my chest and take it out on me, thinking that I work here, not understanding what the pass is for. So just yeah. trying to do my job. Now. Oh, no, I understand, Jane. That's why I'm just talking it out with you. That's all. I just, I, I, you gotta just appreciate the fact that I'm also 50 years old and I just don't take blind directives from people. You know, I've been, I've been alive too long, but if there's a legitimate thing going on, then I want to respect that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's something that we request from anybody who's taking pictures or filming Gosh, here. we've been doing it for so long now. I've never had anybody question it. I don't even, yeah. Gosh, we've been doing it for so long now. I've never had anybody question it. I don't even. Well, and I, I, well I'll, I'll tell and I, you know what on this note since we're having this conversation I'll tell you exactly what we're doing okay we are we go around the car this is my son my name's Jason okay my son's name is Ben and what we do is we are supporters of the Constitution of the United States of America so what we do is we go out and exercise our rights to take photographs and video in publicly accessible areas of government facilities so that could be a library a jail a police department a sheriff's office a state capitol building we go all over the place and that's all we're doing is exercising our rights to take photographs we don't cause any disturbances we don't speak to anybody we generally don't even speak to each other you know we just kind of walk around and film and this building particularly is spectacular i mean the architecture of this building is incredible are you filming patrons we are not well, you, you know what? No, it's not really because what happens is like I'm not specifically aiming my camera to patron, but if I'm looking at the architecture and somebody happens to walk by, sure, sure. I'm not filming the patron. You're not specifically going out. No, to film no interest in a public spot. Okay. Well, if somebody happens to be in that, you know what the example I use with that is? If you go to Disney World and you want to take a picture of your kids, do you have to get consent from everybody that's standing behind them? There's four thousand people standing there. Right. And if so, and that's a private place, right? right? So if you're in public, it's even yeah. more. So, and it's not just speaking to photography and video, what we do. Um, the Constitution is taking a beating these days, and our rights are being eroded faster than we can keep up with them. So that's what we're trying to do, is we're just out exercising our rights, because rights are like muscles, and if you don't exercise them, you lose them. Okay. Right? So that's all it is. It's a simple exercise of rights. Absolutely. It doesn't even rise to the level of civil disobedience, because we're not being disobedient. Are we taking pictures in a public space? Perfectly legal. And not only is it legal, it's also constitutionally protected activity. Yeah, but everybody can do that. Sure, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. And, yeah. Because it's your right. You have, yeah. a, you have a right to take yeah. photos. You are the press. Right. You don't have to be Channel 7 to be the press. Anybody that picks up a camera, anybody that disseminates information to the public is the press. And as far as I'm concerned these days, each one of us individually are a much more reliable press than the major media because they have a corporate agenda. We don't. We're just out experiencing uh, real life and talking yeah. to real people and showing what's really going on in the yeah. world and also documenting the climate of this country. Like at this. website that it goes to that people can 
I do. I do. And before we leave, I will give you that information so that you can take a look at what we do. Yeah. 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 And we, we, what yeah. we do is, we, you know, some people go out and they feel like civil, civil disobedience is the way to do things, which sometimes is required and you do need to do those things. But we tend to try to be a little more cordial. And we try, yeah, I mean, you can see how I'm being with you, and that's how we are, and we're not looking for any... about civil disobedience for security. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, that, well, when I say civil disobedience, I'm talking about, like, Rosa Parks sitting Sir. in the front seat of the bus. Uh, that's civil okay. disobedience. Okay. Yes. I really do need to keep your voice down. This is a library. To keep my voice down? You, you oh, just, okay. Projecting. I'm projecting. Okay. Yes. Okay. So then you have to stop listening to your little thing and pay attention. Excuse me? You don't like anybody having an opinion or something to say you're more than welcome to talk as long as you want just okay but just don't let's not get passive aggressive about things let's just i'm being extremely friendly so right I. okay so let's keep it that way we'll keep it cordial i know i just thought i need you to keep it at a, this level that's fine i don't doesn't look like anybody's disturbed but i'll keep it down i understand the library thing you know what's funny when i was a kid and this young lady here probably remembers as well um libraries didn't have quiet places because the entire library was a quiet place now there are quiet places, so I didn't realize we were in one of those, so I apologize Actually, for that. The library still is a quiet place. Is it? Just okay. We have to be a little more careful because unlike most libraries that are wood and carpet, this one is stone and glass, so it echoes upwards. Every sound that you make on this level is actually louder on level four than it is here because of the architecture. Okay. So it just echoes and reverberates upwards, so the higher up you go, the louder it gets. I can hear other people talking, though. Like I said. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to give you a hard time. I, this, so this is what we do. I've explained. And I generally, I'll tell you what, you guys, I must like you guys because I don't generally explain myself that much yeah. to people when I first walk yeah. in. Well, so. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. Do we have to start all over again? Um, we were at the end of a conversation. It's been a very oh. long conversation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did we reach a conclusion? My name is Jason Courtney. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you. This is my son, Ben. Hi, Ben. How are you? Um, did we reach a conclusion? So, uh, okay. Oh, I was going to say we did, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So we'll, we'll let Micah, I'm sorry, am I pronouncing it properly? Micah, yes. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to put a media pass on, and as it's not written directly in our policy sheet, he seems to be. Okay. Um, well, let me see what I can do. Oh, I haven't. Um, so they're to check it out. Can I get that? Did I? Oh, I put that in my pocket. Filming public spaces, exercising. Oh, I see. Their rights to film in public spaces. Okay. okay. So I asked that they are here, but for the sake of um, legality, yeah. Legality. Well, it's not legality. It's policy. One second here. I reviewed it. I missed it. Possibly. I, I, it, I can't remember if it's in here or in the super extended one. Um, this is just our very easily accessible this patron is, one. This is my like easy to read pair. Oh, well. There's I nothing need, in there I about photography. There isn't? No. Okay. Shit, Micah looked as well, and so did okay. Zelda. Good, good. So basically, you know what? I, I probably would have been halfway through what I was doing and almost out of here by now. Okay. So we, what we do is just I'll go through the whole thing with you again. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be super extensive. No, no, I'll give you the, I'll give you the, the, the watered Quick down notes. version. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So what we do is we don't interact with anyone. Okay. I'm not looking to photograph what people are doing or anybody in particular. Um, so this is a gorgeous building. It is. It's paid for by tax dollars. Absolutely. It's a public space. Yeah. It's architecturally gorgeous. Yeah, it, it is. It's technically zoned private property. Okay, just I'm gonna go so you know. Back and zoned private property. Yes. It is owned, like, not by the city. We we allow the public to use So who owns it. the library? I, I It's run by a board of directors. I'd have to ask them. Oh, so it's a nonprofit. Right. Okay. Right. Gotcha. So um, it's... It's technically called a public library, but only in that we allow the public to use the facility. Okay, so my, let me ask you this. Micah was expressing, and I'm not giving an opinion either way or making no, any, no. but Micah was uh, letting me know that there were a lot of, and I understand, there are a lot of homeless around. There are people with mental issues and that kind of thing and all that stuff going on. I'm using her words. Um, and those people, as long as they're behaving themselves, are allowed in the library. Yeah, as long right? as they follow our policies, anybody is. So the board of directors, allows them to be here but has an issue with people taking photographs correct um that's a little strange and it's really just to prevent pre yeah. oh, forgive me i haven't had enough oh i forgive you no problem neither of um, <laughs> have we ever honestly no. um what it's more to protect is patron privacy okay it's it's just 
the, basically the same thing as somebody like filming you out on the street. It makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and we just try to make our patrons as happy. Well, filming somebody out on the street, there's nothing anybody can do it, about it. Exactly. Right? Which is, it can make them uncomfortable, which but legally, it, legally you're perfectly allowed. Right. To so them. apart from policy and rules and regulations, as far as the law is concerned, there is no issue. Right. So the only issue that could possibly exist is a policy. Exactly. Right. But being that it is a privately owned facility, okay. even though it's zoned for public use, we do have the right to ask you not to do those things and it, tell you to leave if you would not like to comply. Not to what? Take Well, nobody asked me not to take video. She just wanted me to oh. put a sticker on my chest. And what I said was, here's Micah's reasoning was, is that if I have a sticker on my chest and somebody sees that, it might make them feel a little bit more easy about what we're doing because I'm identified as somebody that's gone through a process here. Yeah, right? But exactly. at the same... Right. But and I also see the flip side of that, which could be if somebody's here who has some kind of a mental issue, who has some kind of an issue with the staff, and, and or with security sees that, they might take it out on me and think that that was... You know what I mean? I so I'm labeling myself, you. and I generally don't yes. label myself either. Right, and I you know? no, that yeah. makes so, that yeah. makes perfect sense. Right. It does. Um, what this really is is stating that we ask that you don't film our staff without our permission. You know, we ask that you don't sell this footage without us knowing about it, so it doesn't just show up in random places. We make we make wedding photographers do the same thing. You know, take pictures of yourself. Well, that's commercial photography. That's a different thing. Exactly. So I don't sell my video to anybody. For? We live in the Denver area, okay. and oh, what we do is, like yeah, it's nice. And once a month, we uh, take a road trip. So, like last Fun. month, we last month we went to Cheyenne. We make sure we go to the state capitol, okay. and go to some municipal buildings and libraries, and we go visit the police and the sheriffs, and just awesome. get a feel for the community and speak to the folks in the town. So this month we're in Utah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we're in making memories with the boy, and I'm also supporting our rights as Americans and supporting good. our constitution, and that's all we do. Means. Yeah. So I cannot imagine that the uh, board of directors would have any problem with that. I don't no. think they would. No. We just have this thing that we have to have to sign because they, well, but they, they if don't I, want you following. The only thing is, is that that's why I had said to Michael when she mentioned it, I said, let's go take a look at the rules. If that's on the rules, then we'll address that. But it's, there's nothing on here saying this is your... Right. That's that's my, that's right. my so, quick notes version of it. Right, so um, you, you got to figure it like any, not you, and I'm not saying anybody would do no, that, I know. but any member of the staff could walk up to me that. and just say, oh, well, here's a rule. I don't like that you're wearing blue shoes, so there's a rule you can't wear blue shoes. No, you're right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I tend to go with what's in writing and what's documented, Which what's is approved. Very intelligent, right. I mean, obviously, you've done this before. And uh, <laughs> many, many times, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, no, I don't want to waste your time. This lovely gentleman. Patrick, <laughs> don't tell me we're going to start no, all over again. No, how are you, Patrick? I just thought if I can offer you some more resources. He is he is he is paid more than I am. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably paid more than I am. <laughs> um, so I work in the event services department. Okay. And, um, we actually normally do the photography um, uh, and filming for events passes and so forth. Right. Uh, for and a variety for of activities. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I thought it might be helpful if you are interested, I can like take down your contact information or provide contact information for either my supervisor, Elizabeth King, if you need additional information, or the head of communications, because they actually used to handle all of this. Gotcha. Uh, uh, Quinn Smith and potentially. Right, no, we're just... Or all did we're you get the info that you needed? Or? Yeah, no, and yeah. all we're looking to do is, and I was just explaining our side of the situation, but all we're looking to do is check out the building. First of all, the architecture just pulls you in off the street. Right. It's a gorgeous building. That's the whole point. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, you know, these are our memories, and this is what we're doing. And we just, this is my son. I think it's awesome. <laughs> nice yeah. Guess what I found? What'd you find? The policy. I know it looks weird, but it was just printed. What, yeah. Well, um, who just printed this up? <laughs> my boss did. Any person filming yes. or taking photographs says, I must wear a filming yep. and photography pass issued by communications. Yep. Yeah, that's what this is. What is this? Well, really? he just printed it off my website. Okay. Let me... Because I was just, uh, right, maybe maybe Patrick had version. pointed out to us, I don't see anything on here. And this is your patron, this is what you that's hand out to people. So this is slightly different. This is you just see. general behavior within the library, usually in regards to things Let's like see if I can pull up the interactions with other patrons, volume, um, personal belongings, stuff like that. We do have separate guidelines for the film and photography. But now, wouldn't that be for commercial? Because it's not, I'm not, so this doesn't get sold. I'm not selling my video to anybody. I'm not doing this for so work. Mm -hmm. So generally how we look at it, it falls into one of three categories. There's the commercial category, there is student use, and then there's community use. Um, so it sounds like it's probably community use that you're doing. You said you're coming in here using this for your 
personal enjoyment. Right, not, exactly. You're not promoting any products or services related. To no products or services, no, okay. absolutely not. And you're not working with any clients or anything? Not like working that. with any clients, no. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Not in the photography business. Okay, so that would t- fall within our community use. Okay. Um, and the reason we generally we do ask that you have the photo pass is just so that staff know they see somebody walking around with camera, they know that they've talked with event services, and we're like, yeah, it's community use, they're cool, they don't need to be paying any fees, you don't need to do a location, they don't really need to send you an invoice. Okay. So it's basically a way to indicate to staff that, yeah, they've checked in with us. Everybody I'll be, and I'm just going to be very honest there. with you, and I'm not saying that you're being dishonest, but it seems to me like that would be more of just a, a way of getting my information so that it, if something arises down the road, you have a way to get back to me. That's what it more seems like to me. I'm just being honest with you. Okay. Um, Which, you know, also... Pull up the whole rest of the thing. No, that's okay. And you know what the other thing is, too, with these passes, as far as this is concerned, you're asking for people's names um, and, let's see, yeah, date and time. So you're contact asking... Contact information or anything. We'd only do that if we had to do it. I mean, I could write down any name I wanted on there, and how would you know it was me? <laughs> you know, so it's it's kind of like a... Again, it's kind of so like... Exercise in futility, I think. Unless, <laughs> unless... It would make sense to me if you say to me, "Well, we need to know who you are, so that way, if there's an issue, we can go back and find." It. Then I say, "Okay, well, that makes sense. that 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 makes sense." But you're telling me that's not the case. Well, so for example, like I mentioned, it's kind of a way to communicate for our staff. So, for example, like if if I issued it, I, it would have my name, the date and time. So they would basically say, "Oh, he, they talked with Patrick. Patrick said it's fine. It's community use. I don't have to worry that they didn't check." Because sometimes people will just show up and they are giving commercial use and they've never talked with us. Okay. We do have guidelines, so we have to make sure that they're observing as far as like some of our tenants and their privacy as far as... Uh, yeah, I just had a very nice conversation with Mary Pusey. She's like a that. wonderful artist and a wonderful lady there. We had okay. a nice talk okay. with her. Yeah. Yeah, so really, again, it mostly indicates, like, again, like... You checked in with us. We said it's fine. Here's a pass for you. Date, time, my name, and then just your name. And yes, you can. My issue with that is, is what that does is that opens me up to... Um, because in this country, you have a constitutional right to be secure in your papers and your effects, right? Um, so basically, that's a Fourth Amendment issue is what it comes down to, Right. So that's why, and I'm sure a lot of people that come in, like, if we never had this conversation, I could just write Joe Smith on there, and you'd say, okay, great, here you go, Joe Smith, put your pass on. And so what does that really accomplish, other than maybe quelling people's fears? And maybe that's not the best way to go about it, because maybe that exacerbates their fears, and maybe a better way to do it would be for me to explain to them what I'm doing and let them, if somebody asks me. I don't approach anybody. Right. And I was even telling the uh, guard that we actually generally don't even speak to each other, because we like to try to keep the videos quiet and let them speak for themselves. So that's all we do. That's what we do. But personally, I, just because of what I do and how I do it and my moral fiber and my makeup, putting a label on me and uh, putting my name out there and exposing my personal information is not something I would ask anybody else to do for me. So I generally don't agree to those things. So the next question would be, if I don't want to wear the pass, then what happens? Um, Again, the pass is primarily for staff to know. Okay. It's a communication thing. So what I would say in this situation is it's community use. Um, we don't need any additional information. Uh, we don't need to do, again, location agreements or invoicing or any of that. So I would say we're familiar with it. Security is familiar with it. The staff here at the main desk are familiar with it. I would say if it, you are welcome to film in the library. Um, we do have and this is the behavior guidelines. We do have some yeah, more. Those are, yeah. yeah, and I'll keep that as a souvenir if you don't mind. Related ones, but they're pretty That's simple. That's what I'm putting in for you right now, just so you have it. Okay. In case any questions. Come okay. Up later. Yeah, no, we don't. And, and just so you know, too, we make a, we understand the difference between public areas and restricted areas. We make a very concerted effort not to go into any restricted areas. We have no interest in doing that. We appreciate. We will not. I, I have no interest in speaking to the patrons unless somebody approaches me. So, not looking to do that. So it sounds like Courtney's printing them out. I can tell you kind of in general, it's, uh, um, this is kind of a commercial thing, I guess, more, is we do encourage you not to capture other people's images. Um, 
community use it. That's difficult nice because let, let's say I want to take yeah. a, let, let's say right now I want to capture these two acrylic pieces that are hanging here. Yeah. How, do I ask everybody to move? Um, do I ask, do I yell out? Does everybody, is okay, everybody okay with me? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. So, and my analogy that I always use for that is, is if I, if you take your children to Disney World mm -hmm. and you want to take a picture of your children, you're going to go asking 4,000 people for their permission to take the picture? It's so, um, like I referenced just briefly, um, that it's a little more relevant to the community use because if you are capturing somebody's image and then you are using it for promotional commercial issues, then that is a more of a Well, then that situation. would, that, yeah. Yeah. If I was but, using it for commercial, I agree with you, but I would be forthright with you and tell you I was using it for commercial if that's what I was doing. Yeah. So otherwise, we just kind of uh, encourage it as a way to also be. Um, for other patrons' comfort and privacy as well. So if you want to capture it, you're more than welcome to. If you have an opportunity to capture it when other people are not. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say to you. It. Like, if, that's, if, that's if I want to, let's say, I mean, this is a beautiful atrium here when you first walk in. So if I want to capture images of the atrium, that's what I'm focusing on. If somebody happens to walk by, I'm not aiming my camera at anybody. I'm not interested in what they're doing. I'm not looking at anybody, what they're writing or what any of that stuff. Just yeah, not to say that I couldn't either, but I just I respect people that way, and I wouldn't even go there. Even if your rule was not in place, I wouldn't do that. And we appreciate. That. Yeah, that's all. So we we plan on behaving ourselves. Yeah, yeah and the other stuff is related to like, please don't climb on the furniture. Please don't <laughs> run. Please well, a few years ago, I might have had a problem with him climbing on the furniture, but I think he's past that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and like I said, we really generally don't even speak to each other, and if we do, we're kind of because we I don't really like a lot of talking in the videos. Yeah. So I kind of kill I kind of killed this one. But, yeah, and we just kind of, I'm, I'm just trying to... Well, it's not hard to find something pretty in this building, I'll tell you that. I still Yourself that included, you. Courtney. <laughs> so, yeah, community use, thank you for taking the time. Um, no, I appreciate you having the conversation with us. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Um, and again, like I said, we're aware of the situation. I okay. More than welcome. Please enjoy the space. Enjoy your time. No, thank you very much. And also, I, I'm not. I can't. You know, I'm, I'm not anticipating having any issues with anyone. But I do have very good de-escalation skills from Which previous experience in life. I think you guys can sense that. So, I'm a very good communicator, and I will do everything within my abilities to avoid any issues or any situations. And, uh, and if we'll, you have any problems, we will. And do you, are you comfortable with that? Do you want any additional information maybe from like my supervisor or the... No, I think you've given us all the information we need. I think you've been very professional, very cordial, and I appreciate that. Oh, all right. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> well. I thank you so much. So. And so. Courtney, thank you. Forever, no, no worries. Do you, if you still want it, I can have it done for you in just a minute. What's that? The, the oh, no, 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 it's okay, okay. because I can, I can look it up online and I have your okay. little quick notes it's sheet here. easy to find. It's just under policy now. All righty. You got it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to button my lip and we'll stay silent from here on in. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Have a great day. Appreciate you. Uh, let's go up the stairs it's, and then we'll come down the elevator. That will work. Thank you, Michael. This is really, I mean, this is beautiful. This is definitely the nicest library I've ever seen. No question about it. If you're into architecture, Salt Lake City is the place for you. Oh, pardon me. So a little fireplace here.
Want to go up to the top floor? Huh? Want to go up to the top floor? What is this, the one under the top? No, there's a few more. Oh, I think, isn't it? The elevator top? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's go all the way up. Cool. Yeah, we'll take the elevator. We'll go down and then go back up. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Oh, Rooftop slides, that's right, it's raining outside anyway. Oh, this is kind of neat. Very cool. So the rooftop is closed, otherwise we'd go out there and give you a view of that. How are you? Is this, so is this just the uh, administrative offices yeah. up here? Okay. Can I ask what your name is? Zoe. I'm sorry. Zoe. Zoe. Zoe Jason. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. All right. Cool. So I guess public access out here, private back there. Yeah, exactly. All right. Got gotcha, you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. See, when you come up the elevator, it actually goes through the roof. That's very cool. So we, we, we made the rounds pretty quickly. Already? Yeah, well, we went up to the top. I don't want to go through no, each one of the floors. That was it's, so too, it's, it's too big of a building. So we kind of just got a sense of it. It's kind and, of enormous. Yeah. <laughs> but I just want to thank you for your professionalism so and your helping us out. I right. hope you guys have a great time and Thanks. have fun touring. Thanks. So yeah, yeah. Hopefully you find some other cool places. Oh, we will. We always seem well, to run into... not as pretty as ours. Well, it's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> there, you know what? Just Salt Lake City in general. I mean, it's, it's be the architecture is incredible is. here. And yeah. it actually kind of looks oddly good in the rain. I, I'm, I just said it to somebody this morning, too. I like weather. I like snow and rain and all yeah. that kind of lightning. And Plus, you know, it just it speaks to our state. That's worse snow. That's it. Yeah. So, course, yeah, it's amazing. From Denver, you know that. <laughs> well, no. You know what? I'll tell you the truth. It's funny. You think that when, like, you move, when we were moving to Denver from New York, that's what you think. It's going to be a lot of snow More and snow. cold. 300 days of sunshine. 
degrees. Yeah, I mean, I was walking last week. I was walking around with a t-shirt on. It was 55, 60 degrees. Well, that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel gypped. Yeah. Where, no. Where's my season? Well, you can always go up into the mountains. That's true. Yeah. That's you get the best true. of both worlds. That's true. Well, already. Desert right below it, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Sweet. Well, keep having fun. Keep smiling. Thank you. Have Alrighty. a great day. Take care. Day, you too. Okay? Thank you. Stay safe. Bye. Well, all right, guys. Um, very interesting building. Architecturally speaking, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think this was an interesting experience. Um, security was insisting that we wear name tags and register with them, uh, which we declined. And after a lengthy conversation, we were uh, was acknowledged that we did not need it or they weren't going to require it from us, whatever the case may be. But I didn't put the sticker on, didn't register, didn't fill it out, uh, didn't have any issues. So, as usual, we ask you guys to chime in in the comments, let us know what you think, uh, share your thoughts and ideas with us. And speaking of sharing, if you enjoy our videos and you like what we do, uh, we invite you to share them with anyone you like. Um, also, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, comment and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell because then you will be notified by email every time we upload a new video and you'll find out about it right away. Uh, you could also do the same thing for watching the Watchman's channel. He uh, has a great thing going on. He's uh, getting more and more subs every day. Channel's growing. Uh, he's getting a lot of support. And he's doing really well. And I think his content is very interesting and his commentary. And I think you guys will enjoy it. So there'll be a link in the description of his channel. Please feel free to check it out. Um, but that's it. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So uh, coming to you from Salt Lake City, Utah at the Salt Lake City Library. Watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press. Catch you on the next one, guys. Out.